everyone! Welcome to September Empties. I don't have a lot, but I have a couple of items I am really, really, really excited about. So let's jump in with personal items. Sure deodorant, I would not want to be without it. I like the Fresh and Cool or the regular Mark Likes the Unscented. In Arizona, it keeps you dry. You do not perspire. You do not smell. And we've had some days, probably not as hot as usual, but like 115-ish. So, swear by this. A couple of skincare items. This, I don't recall what it was, and it's all worn off on the writing. This was an under eye cream, and I really enjoyed it. I used to have quite dark circles. I fixed my sleep. I am doing a lot better. My allergies, just so many health issues that I had before, I don't have. But I used this up, and it's nice and hydrating, but what I liked it for was it was very like the Ole Hendrickson's under eye cream. It did help when I had my dark circles. It wasn't enough that you don't need a corrector, but it very much hydrated and helped to cover. So I enjoyed it, but I wouldn't repurchase because I don't need it anymore. This face wash by Equate is a compared to of CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. I don't like this as much as the Equate, I think it's a Cetaphil compared to, that I'm now using. This was nice, but I don't think, I feel like it stripped my skin a little more, and it's just not as nice. Um, I like something that's very thorough and does a really good job of cleaning without stripping. I really love the, I'll have to put the link down below or up here. The, it's a black charcoal soap and it's in the liquid. Love that. Oh, that gets every bit of your makeup off. That one is really, really, really good. And the rest I consider makeup items. These are my super glue. I usually go through two of things, one up here and one in the valley that I use regularly. This is for whatever false nails I'm using. I usually do the French Eternal or Everlasting French in medium because I have a fairly long nail bed so I can't do the short but this holds them on for probably two weeks and if you test your nails and feel anything that's loose you can just put like a dab and get it in under there and then hold it and it'll continue holding for ages for you. I consider myself tan to be part of my makeup because I love being tanned this is my Malibu Hemp Golden Glow. This stuff is amazing. I also use, and like I said, one up here, one in the valley, these tanned AFs. These are the spray-on, and you spray them really close. These get you nice and dark. The hemp, I'll put the link below, but buy it if you have a Walmart near you. You have to make sure you get this one, not just the moisturizer. The moisturizer doesn't give you color. This gives you color and it hides the cellulite. It, I don't know how it does it, but it does a beautiful job. I love this. It just hydrates, makes your skin look really nice. So to me, these two together are perfect because you can get the instant dark and then you can put this on top. The caution is this one does transfer to your sheets and underneath to your mattress cover. This one, if you let it dry for you know, a minute, it doesn't transfer. This one definitely will transfer, so don't wear white with it and don't put it on right before bed. Then I got from a girlfriend, and unfortunately I didn't take a picture. I don't know where she got these from, but these are 20 eyelashes, and I actually have them on today. I really like these ones. They're a little longer than I would normally wear. I probably wouldn't wear these to work, I wear a little shorter, more conservative to work, but I do like these a lot. They're really, really nice. This L'Oreal lip stain, the color that I can read on the bottom says 416. It was just okay. It was very drying. It wasn't a color that popped. It was very neutral. And I am not into neutral lip colors as much these days. And that is probably my same complaint with this, which is a Maybelline 24-hour. I much prefer the Maybelline Superstay lip stains. I have one of those on today, which is in Self Starter. And then I put a little bit of the Wet n Wild P40 
peach something lipstick on top. But I like a lip stain and then I'll either put a lipstick or a gloss on if I want. But the lip stain is the key for me. I would not repurchase either one of those, but I am thrilled that I've used up two lipsticks. This is my strip lash adhesive. This is really nice when you want fast. What I like on a daily basis is the white Envy lash glue and it dries clear. It holds better. This dries out super fast. That being said, I'll probably always have it in my arsenal because it's nice to have in your purse when you need a touch up, if you accidentally have one end come loose or something. This is really, really convenient. You don't need to let it dry as long either, which is very handy. So the last two are perfumes. I'm super excited. So let's talk about this one first. It's a Jessica Simpson 10. This is probably my, one of my least favorites of hers. I'm going to put the top notes, middle notes, and base notes on here. In my opinion, the top notes, are, which are the ones that disappear, were actually fairly strong. I'm looking at the middle notes. I love Orange Blossom, Lily, Jasmine. They're, I wish the base notes and the middle notes were stronger. It actually seemed conversely like the top notes were stronger. It almost had the scent of a little girl type of perfume. It was quite crisp and almost not very expensive smelling. It dissipated extremely quickly and I used this when I worked at home to reapply. This other one, I have to admit, I bought for the packaging because it's so cute. It's Betsy Johnson Tutu and it is quite masculine so you can really smell the ginger when you first apply it. I didn't smell as much mandarin, which I would love. I love the mandarin orange. You get a lot of the patchouli, sandalwood, suede, and that makes it more masculine. I actually use this up in my vacuum cleaner. I open it up and spray it on the filter, the sponge, and when you vacuum, for some reason, a very heavy masculine scent is beautiful in the house. So much so that I would take this and think, ooh, I don't want to waste it on the vacuum. I'm going to use it. And I'd put it on myself and nope, it did not agree with me. But it smells beautiful in the room. And I've found that with several other very heavy masculine perfumes. So it's a great way to use up perfumes if you're looking for it. I am very focused on trying to get my perfumes down. I want to have maybe less than five. I will always have Dolce Gabbana, light blue, but I get the intense now, which I love. But some of the other ones that are not as much my favorites, I'm really trying to knock out. And I'm definitely using the Dave Ramsey method of hitting the ones that are the least amount left and hoping that I can knock out maybe two more this year. That might be ambitious, seeing as how it's already my September empties, but we'll see. Let me know if you're using things up and I hope that you maybe found a tip or two and thank you so much for spending some of your time with me. I truly appreciate it and I hope you're having an amazing day. We'll talk to you next time.